Hi, it's Deborah, and I have a couple little projects to show you. Um, being the holiday season, I like to give little, little gifts to my kids' teachers and sometimes their friends. So I made one of those, like a little calendar. Um, I've seen this several times on YouTube. I did this last year also, but I didn't get to do a video. And I initially got the idea from Enjoy Stampin', uh, Robin. And she used coasters, but I just use a lot of my scrap chipboard. I had a bag full of scrap chipboard, so I just cut them all four by four, ink some edges, and put some paper. And for the calendar, I just use it. I just printed it from the computer, so it's very easy. For this one, I used the uh, Be Mine collection from uh, Echo Park, and I didn't finish the cover. I just want to. I'm just going to put the year on the cover and I just use acetate this is actually from old packaging and uh, a lot of it is um, like scrap trim like little pieces of trim that I had left and uh, some flowers a lot of the flowers are prima and the pearls are prima and what else the and the black flowers that you'll see behind are uh, cut from the Tim Holtz tattered tattered florals and I just stuck them behind some of the flowers. So here's January, February, and it's very simple. Like like I said, it's it's not, uh, it's just for your desk. It just stands up so I didn't put, like I didn't pack it full of embellishments. And I just did a, on each page, I did a little border with my uh, treading water punch. March. April. I like this lace. This lace is a uh, Teresa Collins, I believe. May. And this trim I got from my fabric store a while ago. June. And then, oops, let me turn that around. July, nice and feminine page. August, September. This is uh, the Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz rose trim. I don't know if it's called rose trim, but it's Tim Holtz trim. October, November, and December. Okay, so all I'm going to do is put a, like some stickers at 2012, and that's it. So that's for one teacher. And they're all pretty similar. I won't show you all of them. But I also did for my, for my daughter's friend. She has a few friends she wants to give a little gift to. So I made these little books. Covers four point four and a quarter by four and a quarter and the pages are all um, uh, four by four and I initially got this idea from uh, my scrap world she used uh, file folders but I just used double sided pattern paper and this one is from my mind's eye line twist uh, collection paper line and and it's very simple you know uh, each have a little pocket. I cut them four by, I'm sorry, I cut them eight by five and a half and then I scored halfway down the middle and scored uh, at one and a half to get the pockets and I just put a few, a couple uh, index card paper, you know, a little interest. I might just put a couple embellishments here and there, you know, little girls like flowers and stuff. So. There's a little butterfly, and I have a lot of little bling to put in there, so that's basically it. Um, I'm just going to let my daughter finish putting a few more flowers and embellishments in there. And look how cute that is. I'm just going to put her name on the top and wrap it up nice and cute. And there's another Christmas gift. And I have one more calendar I'd like to show. 
This one is using the Victoria Garden Collection from Echo Park. I think that one's so nice and feminine. Again, I'm going to put the year on the front cover of acetate. I'll just flip through it really quick. These are so easy to make, and especially since I had a lot of I have a lot of scrap paper and a lot of scrap chipboard, so it's it's perfect for something like this. And then flip that over. And what I love is that it just sits on your desk. And very simple. Very, very simple. And the teachers, they loved it last year. Um, so I thought I'd do it again. And that's it. Thanks for watching.